Hey everybody, welcome to Lovely Planet. So Lovely Planet is a game by Quite Tequila published by Tiny Build Games and it's a kind of old schooly FPS styled game crossed with like a speedrunning game, I suppose you could say. It's like a platforming game in a first person perspective with a gun that you do a lot of bunny hopping and jumping around shooting things and it's all very cutesy and weird and abstract and it's actually a lot of fun. Um, it's going to be released as of tomorrow on Steam for a price of $5.99, I believe. I don't know if there's going to be any sale. Um, it's going to be $6, I think that's the same price in all regions. Um, and, and basically what you do is you take your yourself, your little character, with this kind of weird cutesy gun, and you run about a cutesy little level, and you get to like the other end of the level as fast as possible, killing the things and all the, the, the stuff. It's pretty cool. Um, the music in it's fantastic, the game looks um, very... Very cartoony in a very cutesy kind of way. But what we'll do, well, firstly, um, we'll look at the options menu. Before we do so, I'm using keyboard and mouse, but the game seems to want to get me to use the gamepad. Everything seems to be gamepad-y. So you can see at the bottom it's got like options, move, go to world, all with gamepad, game things. I don't want to use a gamepad because it's an FPS. Some people may be different in that opinion, but yeah, I'd rather it just showed the keys of your preferred method of input. Um, so we'll go to the options menu. <laughs> So you've got your exit game. The options menu is kind of weird. Like I, I, I don't know how. It's a bit of a very strange options menu. So, so you press escape, get to the options menu, and it's got all kinds of like exit game. Then you've got your resolution. Mine's actually it's set to 1080p. So I don't know if that's just it's just bringing up like kind of native resolution of my monitor. Not really sure what's going on there. Um, your full screen VSync, your anti-aliasing uh, music, SFX, your sensitivity, look normal. I don't know, inverted, normal inverted, so it's just basically your mouse movement. If I go inverted, oh my god, inverted feels weird. How people used to play in the olden days, in the olden days, like 10, 15 years ago, they would play with like inverted mouse, or input for the looking around. Weird, weird stuff. Anyway, that shows you the options, man. I think we'll just go in and play the game and see what it's all about. So, we'll start with City, because it's the first area. We'll go back to the very first level, and we'll start from scratch, and it kind of tutorializes what you're looking to do. You see this little red, angry man? He's, um, what's that? Baggage claim? Spinning around on the top right. I don't know what's going on there. But we'll go and we'll, we'll click on red face. So, so we'll show you a little quick cutscene. There's like a juice cup that's fallen over. We can skip this if we want. I'm not going to skip it though because I, I, I want to see what's going down in lovely planet land. Mm-hmm. Where's the music? No one knows. There's a huge beach ball in the sky. Flight cancelled. That's not good. Where, where are the planes? More to the point. This can't be an airport, there's not enough space. Hmm. I'd, I'd imagine there might be music or something implemented in these scenes for the game being released. As the game's not released yet. So, ah, yes, okay, so we get dropped in. So this is us, basically. We we run about, as you can see. So we have these weird, like, um, arm things, and we fire cubes from our cube sparker. A cube sparker? I don't even know what it is. It looks like a garden hose with a thing stuck to it. Anyway, our, our primary objective is, it's shown you here, left and right stick, or wasad and mouse, if you use a keyboard and mouse. We're running along here. You shoot the red things, very self explanatory. Right trigger, left trigger. I, I use the space bar to jump. These are all the things that kind of bother me, like, it's very simple things like this, like, the, showing you the, the key, um, not the gamepad, sorry, the gamepad stuff when you're using keyboard and mouse, that kind of bothers me, uh, mostly because I can't, I, I am not good with FPS with a gamepad, I, I cannot do it, it's, it's not my thing. I've been playing Destiny beta on the old PS4, and I'm really bad at it, primarily because I can't fucking aim with things, so yes, I would prefer if it knew what my input method was and would reflect that in the things. Anyway, walk to the pillar. I've spent a long time. So, the world record on this currently is 7.65 seconds. I can do it in 8.06 seconds. I took over a minute there. So we're gonna try it. No, no, no. Can I go to, to... Wait, hold on. Hold, hold the phone. What, Q? Yeah, let, let's quit. I, I, wanna, I wanna try the first one again. You can do quick restart as well. I think R does it for us. Wait, oh. Come on now, skip that. Uh, how do we do it? Do we press R? Do we do Q? No, okay, so. Um, B? R? Oh, I, I'm, I'm failing horribly. Right, okay. There is a way to quick restart with the gamepad. Right, we're gonna try and do this as quickly as possible. We'll run around here. Shoot the stuff! Out my way stuff. Okay. Whoa! And then around we go, and then whoo -ee. And we go into the thing, and it's, it's, it's a slow time. Very slow. Not suitable. R is that? So it's showing me keys now, aren't you? You're showing me keys now, you rascal. There we go, we'll press R. Um, 
which is strange. Because it shows you the keys on that menu. Maybe that's something they're working on because the game's still not released for like another day. This is still going to be slow. Wait, what are you saying to me? Well, it's not that bad. Wait, hold on. We'll try it one more time. Maybe I'll jump over the rock this time. We'll do it this way. Whoop! And I, oh, no, I'll fall down the crack. R. Yes, arm. Ah, okay, so if we get in a position where we've, like, created a fail state almost, it will allow us to restart there. I, I, interesting. Like, jump over the rock. Yeah, I hope you're kind of getting the, the whole point of this game. It is actually a lot of fun when you get into- Oh, my God. Don't jump over the second rock. That's, like, the- That's the one that'll get you. It's the kicker. Hooah! There we go, very good. So, it's the second jump. Don't do the second jump. Me. Hold on, restart. There's a secondary jump that I'm pulling off that I shouldn't be doing. Hold on. Right, run through here. Whoop, one jump. Oh, yeah, the speed. Speed demon. What have we got? Uh, that wasn't even faster than the last. Hold on. Right, I'm gonna. We're gonna try and get a good time here. I mean, obviously, breaking a world record in a game is not easy, but. Seeing as it's been other press people that have the game, I. Oh, they're so fast. Okay, we'll go to the next level. And now we've got an enemy. Okay, well, I've, I shot him very quickly because I know he's a bad guy, but. You'll see these enemies. These are stationary enemies that do nothing but stand in your way. These motherfuckers, though, they, they shoot back. They're bad. And then we've just got the thing. So basically, you're running to the pillar on each level and you're doing it as fast as possible. You can see they're... Oh, I actually bettered my time, I think. Which is good. Oh, hello. Yep, so don't shoot these guys because that, that's a fail state. So if you shoot them, they're, they're your pals. They, they actually look very sad. What, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Oh, you've got sticky eyes. Can I push you off the side? Hold on. What are you doing? He was, he was holding me down. I'll shoot you for your insolence. Does my gun shoot love hearts? I think it does. There we go, just just strafed past the danger. Flight still cancelled. I'm probably annoyed by that. That's probably why I'm going on a shooting rampage. These guys are probably the good guys. I'm just out here shooting things because my flight's cancelled. This is, this is the part of the story that's not been shown to you. So as you can see, we rattle through levels rather quickly. There's not a lot of lay time in the game, so there's a lot of action, there's a lot of stuff going on, and I quite like that. It, it benefits the the whole the whole game to have it in a, um, a classic FPS style, like a twitchy FPS, I don't know how you would say. So games of late that have been implementing that kind of thing, where you're talking like paranautical activity, that have that kind of twitchy FPS style. It really does suit a, a speedrunny game to have that kind of style, because if you've ever watched like classic Quake, like competitive, the shit's so fast, the, the, they run about like... They are very, very fast, and I like that. I enjoy that. It very much does suit the game style. Um, what really throws it through a spinner, though, is the fact that everything looks so damn cute. It's like, uh, am I meant to shoot you? I mean, you look angry, of course. Yes, I granted the red man looks angry. But everything else is just so goddamn adorable. The music, the music is, is like, oh, hello, what are you? Do you do something? You look like a scroll. Are you my ticket? Is that what you are? Oh, hello. Yep, just falling off the edge. Wait, oh yeah, that's that's it, isn't it? I don't need to actually go over here, it's a it's a Wait, why is it why is it doing it now? Now I can restart quick. Hmm, interesting. I'll I'll put it down to pre-release bugs that I can now press R and it restarts the game for me. Or restarts the level rather. That's what I was trying to show earlier on, that I can just press R at any point and be like, oh, oh, I can restart straight away. And I like that speed of like, like we're running, we're running, we're running, and then boom, restart. I like that. That's good. That's what you need in a game when you're speedrunning. I notice I have been speaking very quickly. I think the game just lends towards that going mental side of things. It's, it's definitely unlocked something in my brain that screams like uh, insanity. I got hit in the face. Damn. <laughs> so yes, for, for $6, do I think the game is worth a purchase? Yes, I actually do. I think there's a lot of um, there's a lot of room for a lot of fun. If you're very competitive, I know a lot of people are competitive and they want to beat scores. Anything with a score gets people all fancied up. And I think this is the kind of game that could hold people's attention for their six dollars. I mean, what what do you get for six dollars nowadays? We we use the I use the kebab comparison. Northern Line he uses the subway comparison. A lot of people do that. It's like for a for the cost of what you may pay for lunch at work or while you're at school or college or uni or whatever. You can buy a game, and you'll probably play it for longer than you'll eat that sandwich for and get more enjoyment out of it, or kebab. I want a kebab now. I've said kebab too many times. But yes, it, it, it does hold my interest for long enough to justify the $6, which is really nothing. In the grand scheme of things, when we're looking at AAA games that you're, you're spending like, oh, I don't know, $60 says the, the kind of benchmark for a AAA game. I've missed a guy. I knew I'd missed you. I could, I could sense your presence! For $6, I mean, you're getting, like, probably the same amount of game time from some AAA games for a tenth of the cost. I think that's pretty good value. 
Um, is the game repetitive? Yeah. I mean, I mean, I've only played the early games so far. First impressions videos kind of lend themselves towards that, so there's not a lot of late game that I've seen. But at the same time, um, I really can't envision how varied the game will become. Apart from throwing in harder enemies, longer levels, and more bullshit. Bullshit in the good sense of the word, of course. More things to, to play against. Hello. Yep, okay. One for you, sir. And... And you'd be surprised, like, these levels, I'm, I'm doing these rather easily and they look kind of easy, but the first time I'd done some of these, I was like, this is hard. Like, I, I, can't, I, I couldn't do this level in a quick speed if I'd beat my record. I didn't. Damn. How did someone do this in 7.29 seconds? Someone found, like, four seconds thereabouts on my time. That's insane. And I want to know how. I'd love to see a replay mode. Oh, yeah, okay, so this is a new mechanic they implement here. The big ball, if it hits the ground, we're fucked. And I don't know why, I'm not sure. It, it doesn't explain why if this thing hits the ground it's bad, but it is, and, and you have to just listen to the game. So don't let the ball hit the ground. Shoot him. Oh, it's like... Just shoot him! Just shoot him out the air. Come on now. There we go, very good. Right, okay. Hardest part done. That bit got me for ages, because I was like, why am I failing this level? What is going on? And then I was like, ah, I have to shoot the thing. Be a good score. Ooh, smashed my previous score, but someone still managed to find fucking 4.3 seconds over my time, which is crazy. Um, yes, so if I press F, we can look ahead and it shows you what's going on, so you can see you get a little bit of a glimpse. Uh-huh, yep, so there's guys, there's things. Right, let's get in about it then. Hooah! Hooah! There we go, and oh, shoot the ball. oh yes, shot it, oh no, I'm stuck! Hold on, hold the phone. There we go, shoot you in the face, boom, boom, boom. Oh, there's another guy over here, yes, okay. Now, I will say to you, if you miss enemies, to get the perfect score, you have to get all the enemies in the level, so you can't just, like, dodge enemies, which might be something you would think to do, to get a score of six seconds. I mean, even not getting stuck in that gap, I was never getting close to seven seconds. How, how, how are people doing this? It's, it's, it's insane, it boggles, it baffles me. But yes, well, um, what I'll do is I'll come out of this, and we'll go on to some of the other levels that I've been doing. Hold on. Come out of office. So, village is somewhat harder. Um, I haven't done any of these yet, I don't think. The one at the far side, they're pretty hard as well. You start implementing, like, jump pads and things and stuff. Right, so we get another wee cutscene here. We'll have a little swatch and I'll have a drink because I've been talking non-stop. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. But yeah, I certainly do think it's worth the six dollars. For what it is, it's it's a lot of fun. Um, it's it's a game that kind of doesn't hold anything back. It's just like here I am. I'm a twitchy old school FPS where you have to run to the end of the level as fast as possible, killing the things. There's no crafting, no mining, no the, the, the periphery stuff that you need to worry about. It's just the, the straight up carnal shoot things and run, which I like. But with a very cutesy setup, which is nice. So, if we look ahead, we'll have a wee swatch and see. So, we've got one guy here, we've got a little jump pad. Who else we got? No litter, we've got some spiky bits, we've got all these things shoot, the like apples, they shoot in the air and they, they splash. More spikes and things, and... Oh, he's angry. It's like he's holding them hostage with an apple. Right, let's get... Right, you! Fuck you. Okay, up we go. There we go, one of those. Whoa! Over the spikes, whoa! Over the spikes, yes! Solid play. Boom. Yes, oh! And a bouncy pad, now one for you, sir. Oh no! Oh, right at the end. That was good, I enjoyed that. Hold on. Shooting things out there, there's, there's something very good. Oh, hello! It's like shooting clay pigeons, but large, angry, red clay pigeons. That kill you. Which would make the game, uh, it would make clay pigeon shooting way more interesting if they actually killed you. Th then you'd have something to play for. Time to perfection, aha! There we go, oh, the skill. Raw skill. <laughs> Let's see. So the world record's actually not that great. What um what makes me scared is that when the game's released tomorrow, these WR scores, the world record scores, they're gonna like reduce by a good number of seconds, because I know the way people are and people are good at games. Right, so world record's 14.9, let's do it. Oh my oh my god, it's it's scary. Now, I didn't look at the, the look ahead here, so it might be a bit... In fact, what we should just probably... Give me some look ahead here, let me see. So we've got some apples, angry, eyebrow man. What have we got here? We've got eyebrow man, we've got an apple. We've got a tent with an eyebrow man. Two apples. Oh no. The two apples is the scariest part. Impossible! Why am I shooting that thing? Damn. 
no, not look ahead. Just, just, just play, play the damn game. Right, just dodge that thing. I don't need it. Right, okay, one of these for you. Yeah, oh, okay, I know what I'm doing. Don't shoot the first one. There we go. Because you don't need to shoot that one. It doesn't count towards your score. What am I bouncing on? There's something bouncy under underfoot. Oh, it's that thing. Is it? Is it that thing? I don't know. I think I'm landing on the, the apple. Ah, oh, it's, it's bouncing me. Oh, no. Wait, can I shoot you and stop you? Oh, that's that's the problem. Can I just jump over this wall? I can. Oh, it, the bouncy pad. Oh, the balls. Literal balls. Right, I don't want to bounce on that thing. That's the problem. Maybe if I do one for you and one for you. I got it. I fucking hit it in, in the sky. Damn, and he shot me in the face. I like it when you get shot in the face. It makes it sound like you've been, like, punched quite aggressively by, like, oh, you've been slapped with, with a wet fish. I don't know why they say wet fish. Would a dry fish be less, I don't know, hurtful to your self-esteem? Continuing on. Boom. Okay. Boom for you. No, no. Right, I need to go left first. So shoot you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Try and hit the target, Tom. So, I, I guess you, you, you're getting a grasp for what's going on here. The game is a lot of fun. I, I must admit, there's, there's a certain sense of I must complete the game and it's all very serious and... Oh, you motherfucker. You dirty swines. That's what I'm talking about. Oh! He knew! He, he had the shot in already. There was one for you. One for you. You can shoot rapid, by the way. You can just go boom. Spray! And never miss. Well, I suppose if your finger gets tired, right, okay. Shoot you, shoot you. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, I've done it, I've done it. That's the the skill involved. Four to, well, it's actually not that much of a difference. We'll continue on. So we'll, we'll have a look ahead. So, this guy poses no threat. The thing about these mushroom pad things is they fall from the sky, so we need to be careful of that. We've got an apple. Another uh, triangle eyebrow man. We've got an apple. We've got a, uh, one of our people that's being held hostage. We've got another eyebrow man with two apples. And then two more hostages with eyebrow mans. Eyebrow mans! <laughs> and then two more hostages. We've got an apple. And, oh, no! We've got a jumpy pad. Then we've got apple. Oh, the fucking hell. Right, this, is a, this is a toughie! But you, my friend. Oh, they, they move. Oh no. Oh. What the fuck? How, how, how is one supposed to overcome such great travesty? Oh, wait, hold on. Hold the phone. There's clearly something I'm missing here. If they expect me to get around this corner and, and shoot that thing down. Hmm. I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not impressed. <laughs> right, there's, there's this guy here. And oh, god damn it. That, that's, that is, oh my god, I can shoot the mushroom out the way? Hold, hold the phone, right, let's get in about it, right, boom. Whoop, one for you. Right, I need to get you, and then I need to do you, do you. Yes, okay, now we're talking. Good, solidly. Wait, hold on, bounce. Oh my god, there's a th Oh, I shot one of my own men! Okay. <laughs> this is when it starts to get difficult for me, so I I'm wondering how hard the late game gets. Damn, damn, damn it all. They're too good. They home in very, very well. It would be nice to see the difficulty ramp up significantly in the late game, because um, I could see how the game would become... Nice. Oh, wait, no, 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 game, no, I didn't touch the spikes at all. I, I never even walked to them with any sense of force. Now I've got it. Oh, you see. Oh, no, I shot too many. Okay, we're fine. I disagree, I disagree with his aim. He's, he's a marksman. Surely we should be getting someone else to be doing this. Get someone to do the running. Get someone to do the shooting. Maybe I'll... Oh, that would be awesome. I just thought of something they should add to the game. Like a co-op where someone does the shooting and someone does the running. Well, I suppose you could do that yourself. By just giving someone the wasad keys and so... <laughs> but it'd be fun. It'd be a good competition. But do it online so only... Yeah, do it online. So then someone has to do the mouse and someone has to do the wasad. But over the internet. That would be hard. Shit would be getting real at that stage. Right, okay, now, now we're talking. Oh, we're up, we're up. Oh, you, you fucker. No, 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 I'm not, I'm not happy with that. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not accepting what just happened there. But you die. I shot him as well. Boom. Yes, all oh, the skill. Okay. Right, this is where it gets tough. 
Because we need to be doing things. Damn, it's that bloody... The apple. Stop the apples. Oh, wow, I hear them clapping. Whoop. Oh no, 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 no. Now we're just regressing in skill. I want to progress, not regress. Shoot them. Oh, just spam, spam them all. Keep shooting. Okay, you. There we go. The perfect single shot. Watch the spikes up we go. I'm going to pop you with one of those. Oh no! No, no. <laughs> Oh, I, I, I'll tell you what though, I am having fun. I'm having a lot of fun. Um, I, I think the the level of competition is not that great at the moment, but I'm hopeful that the game does... Oh, 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 oh. I'm hopeful that it does get more difficult as time goes on. Of course, people will be good at this as standard because people have the ability to do things. I think without a cross here, I'm bad. Um, some people will be able to do things very well. They'll be able to like optimise runs successfully. And, I, and I'd be happy to see some of that shit going on. For me, it's, it's just a lot of fun of me, like, travelling through these levels of just adorable mushrooms and, and eyebrow men and apples. This is it. This is the one! Oh, it's the one! It was the one! And now it wasn't. <laughs> it was the one, and now it wasn't. You don't get that kind of commentary anywhere else, people. Wah! Okay. Once I complete this, the video will end. Uh, I'll tell you that. But certainly, if you if you like what you're seeing, you can check it out on Steam as of tomorrow for the price of six dollars, as I've mentioned several times. The, the less or a pro about the price of a sack. Maybe that's how much a Big Mac meal costs in America. I don't know. Never been to America. Would like to go and have a Big Mac there and see how much it costs, so I can then use that as a way to sell video games for people. Well, not that I'm selling them. I'm not like a fucking marketing guy, but you know what I mean. In a roundabout way. Right, shoot you in the face. Yes. Oh, no! I need to aim lower, that's the problem, I'm aiming too high. One for you. A couple for you. Spam. Yeah, and then... Oh, no! Sorry. Sorry for hitting you in the face when I didn't mean to. There we go. Oh, oh yes. See, a couple of times through in the... Oh, it's gonna be perfect. No, I need to aim for the, the the apple first. I think I need to go for the apple first and then just spam, spam, spam horrendously until things die. Oh no, sorry, I shot you in the face as well. You were innocent. Oh, we're gonna be here all day. Uh, if I do stick to my word and finish this before I end the video, then we may be here for a long time. Yes! Uh-huh. Yep, okay. And if you think you can do better, certainly go and try it out. It's just not as easy as it looks, I'll tell you that. One for you. Up we go. Boom. Boom. Boom! Yes. Okay. Aim for the balloon first and then... Oh no. Oh, I got him! I shot him, but then he shot me. That's, that's the travesty of the situation. Whoop! One for you. Boom! 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 Running around, uh -huh. one for you, yes, okay, all oh, the speed. Wait, wait, I think not. I might need to I might need to actually put a stop to this myself. Cause I, I have other things to do, like eat and and be alive and live my life to the fullest. <laughs> one for you, yes. This is it, this is the one. This is the one. No, it's not. Nope, I lied. I'm a liar. That the platform started to fall there as I reached it. I'm 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 sorry, but I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. I don't know what it is I'm missing. I'm, I think what's happening here isn't going too fast. If I go a little slower, if I just speed it, if I take the speed down a little, whoop, and then if I. Maybe I should just get the... Ah, oh, right, okay, so you, sir, must die, and then... Yes! Oh! The skill! <laughs> so yes, Lovely Planet, available tomorrow on Steam for $6. Check it out if you like what you see.